Hello fellow Drupalers, this is Natalie with a new tutorial for FriendlyDrupal.com. This is going to be short but sweet because we'll be quickly installing Drupal using Drush. I have to admit my current favorite method of installing Drupal sites is by using Agar, but unfortunately it's not always available and in that case my second favorite choice is using Drush site install command. Before you run this command, you actually need to download Drupal root installation first. And the quickest way to do that is again using drush dl drupal. And if you feel like it, you can even check it out using git, just clone uh, Drupal project from drupal.org. Make sure that git is installed on your system if you want to do it that way. So let's run it. So Drush has downloaded Drupal 7. Let's rename the directory. Now if I go inside a directory and list contents, um, I can see the git directory right here. So then I can uh, run all the commands. Site install command has a lot of options and as usual you can see them by running drush site install help. So let's piece it all together. First of all it's going to be drush site. Um, the next is profile and by default it's standard anyway. Next, we indicate um, database and user credentials. And normally with a standard web installation, you would have to create a database and the user first before you can actually install the site. But we can uh, save us some time by indicating the super user. Our super user is root, is root two. And then we need to specify password. I hope I'm gonna get it right. Then we can also use account name or account password, or if we don't specify them, uh, Drush is gonna install them with default uh, settings that we can change later. We can also enter site name. Make sure your super user, your database super, super user has all privileges, including grant. Let's try running it. I actually got the wrong password, so let me try again. At this point, you would probably have to create a uh, Apache vhost um, record for your site and maybe add it to the host file or DNS or whichever method you use uh, to make it available through the uh, internet. So I have covered that before, so I'm not gonna do that right now. So after I've done all that, I can actually go to my new site and log in with the standard, with the default Drush username and password, which is admin admin. And then, of course, don't forget to change it. And as you can see, using Drush saved us a few minutes of installing the site. So it's quite possible to create an installation script using Drush commands that would install a bunch of sites for you. This was Natalie for FriendlyDrupal.com. Thanks for watching us.